Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boys and Grove, and today we're going to continue our two-part series by making some wooden toy tools. Let's get into it. Last time I built this little red toolbox as a gift for my nephew in Hungary, and this time we're going to build some little tools to go in that toolbox. I have three main tools in mind for this toolbox. A mini saw, a mini hammer, and a screwdriver. They're all toys. Have a time. I'm going for more of a wooden mallet for the hammer design because I really didn't like the idea of the claws on the end of a traditional hammer for a three-year-old. I cut the head of the mallet out of a piece of an old wall stud from my 1926 house here in Florida. I think it's pretty cool that I'm going to be sending a piece of my home to my nephew in Hungary that he's going to use as a toy. I used an oak dowel for the handle of the hammer. To add just a little bit more dimension to this hammer, I drilled out the center of a larger dowel and slid the handle of the hammer into that dowel and then shaped it on my bench sander. What I saw. I used half inch plywood for the little saw because I didn't want the chance of the teeth breaking off if all the grain was running the same direction. Remember when I resawed the wood for the sides of the toolbox? Well that leftover scrap is what I'm going to be using for the handle of the saw. That just goes to show you, don't throw away those scraps. Once the glue was dry, I used a Forstner bit and my drill press to hog out most of the material and then moved over to my jigsaw. I finished it all off by rounding over all the corners with my router. I used a combination of my table saw and my bench sander to shape the handle of the screwdriver. I know that the way that I'm using the table saw is pretty unconventional and may seem pretty unsafe, but keep in mind that the blade is raised less than an eighth of an inch high. I'm making extremely small cuts 
and you'll notice that I'm standing off to the side to be out of the way if there happens to be any kickback at all. To add some extra dimension to the handle, I used a wood carving tool. You could also just use a chisel. Once I had the handle of the screwdriver formed to how I liked it, I inserted the smaller dowel and then shaped the end of it on the bench sander. Once everything was sanded, I stained all the handles of the tools and the head of the hammer. We wanted to personalize these items, so Christina used some paint pens to add my nephew's name to each of the tools. Then we applied a couple coats of spray-on satin polyurethane. And that does it for our little toy tools. These things came out pretty cool. Actually, I would have to say out of all three, my favorite is the screwdriver. I just, I really appreciate my own forming on the handle. I know that my nephew who is three probably won't appreciate it as much as I do, but I still think it looks really cool. I also think the saw looks pretty neat. I'll make sure to make a template for this if you want to make your own and I'll add it onto our website. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. Now that our tools are finished, they're ready to be loaded into our little toolbox and be taken to my nephew in Hungary. Let's go. My little nephew absolutely loves these tools, especially the little hammer to his mother's dismay. Unfortunately, the little toolbox did not have a safe journey overseas. I was able to repair it before I left, so he'll receive it as a late birthday gift, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to see him enjoy it firsthand. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and we would love to hear what you thought about it in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, be safe, and have a great day.